What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Clothworks tutorial for you. So in today's video I just wanted to make uh, kind of a video talking about how to use the extension Clothworks in order to simulate draping fabric over objects. So it's just meant to be kind of a quick tutorial, partially just a reminder that hey this extension is out there, but also some interesting things you can do with this extension. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to download a couple models from the 3D warehouse and we'll just drape some cloth over them. So to start off, we're just going to go to the 3D warehouse and uh, I'm going to download this chair from Alias Design and bring this in. So we'll just load this directly in right here. And then maybe we'll do the same thing with like a kitchen chair or something like that. So we'll kind of see how that works out. So we'll do a kitchen chair. We'll go ahead and we'll sort by popularity. And I just need a chair. We'll go ahead and use the farmhouse chair by Dave S. And we'll bring this in. So what I want to do is let's just talk a little bit about how we can use the extension Clothworks in order to drape cloth over these objects. So if you remember what Clothworks does, and we'll go ahead and just draw a rectangle right here. Right click, and reverse our faces, and then we'll just make this a group. And I'm going to move it up above this chair. If you remember what Clothworks does is Clothworks will actually simulate the interaction of objects based on one object being dictated as a cloth. And so the first thing we want to do once you have this installed is you want to right click, go to Clothworks, you want to click on Make Cloth. So what that's going to do is that's going to tell Clothworks to treat this object like a cloth. And so if I click on this, if I click on Toggle Play, this is just going to fall through this object. The reason for that is because we haven't given the other chairs any kind of properties. So what we need to do is we need to right click on these and within Clothworks we need to tell this that this is something the cloth needs to collide with by clicking on Make Collider. We'll go ahead and do that for both of these. So we'll right click, do Make Collider. So now if I click on play, this is just going to fall down and it's just going to kind of sit on this chair. And the reason for that is because we need to add more detail to this object, otherwise it's just going to kind of like bounce off of everything like a big piece of cardboard. So we'll go ahead and reset this. And what we want to do is you could come in here and you could split this face up manually, but that's kind of time consuming. What we're going to do instead is we're going to right click under Clothworks, and in your cloth options, we're going to apply a quadrilateral grid. So basically that's going to apply a grid based on quads. And we'll go ahead and leave the resolution at 4000 for right now. Depending on your computer, you may need to adjust this, but I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And it's going to ask if you want to purge this of coplanar geometry. Unless you have a bunch of geometry in here, I'm going to go ahead and say yes. So what that's going to do is now you can't really see a difference, but if you go to view, and turn on your hidden geometry, you're gonna see that this subdivided this into a ton of different faces, like this. So now, if we click play, what this is gonna do is this is gonna simulate this falling. And I don't know why my hidden geometry is still showing up, but this is basically gonna simulate this falling and draping over this chair, just like this. And so now we can actually use this to create a real cloth simulation inside of Clothworks. And so one thing I want to point out about this, and we're going to test this over here as well. One thing I want to point out about this is before you drape your cloth, you want to apply a material. And so the reason for that is if we were to click play and let this drape over our chair just a little bit, and then I'll click on stop. Um, you can see how what this has done is this has draped this over our chair and it kind of uh, it simulates the way this would act. But the problem is now if we come in here and we try to apply a material to this, your UV mapping is all screwed up, right? It's not, um, it's not mapping this properly across the geometry anymore. And the reason for that is because we didn't apply the material before we dropped it over this chair. So um, what we need to do is we need to undo this draping, but we don't need to rerun the simulation. What we can do instead is there's a button over here for toggle drape. And so if we use the button over here for toggle drape, what that's going to do is that's going to take this back to the way it was before. And so I'm going to wipe this material out and then I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to apply it to the actual face itself rather than to the outside of our group. And then we'll click off of this and we'll rerun this. And so when we rerun this, this is going to recalculate this running in here. And then if I click stop, you can see how now that I've applied this to the actual face of the material before we drape this, 
now the material is mapped in here properly. And so when you do this, you want to make sure that you apply that material directly to the face before you drop this on this object. So now let's do something similar with our chair over here, but let's do something a little bit more interesting. And so what I want to do is I want to draw a rectangle that's standing up. And I'm going to use the pins in order to pull these across this chair. So I'm just going to tap the R key. Remember you can tap the left arrow key to lock this to the green axis. And we're just going to draw a rectangle like this one. So when we draw a rectangle like this one, we need to do the same thing we did before where we're going to, where we're going to select it, make it a group, and we're going to right click and we're going to make it a cloth. And so now we need to adjust this a little bit more though, because if you remember what this is going to do is this is just going to use gravity and we want to simulate just the selected cloth, but this is going to use gravity and this is just going to fall. So obviously that's no good. And we also need to make sure that we come in here, right click, cloth, apply quadrilateral grid. So we want to make sure we get our geometry in here so that this will simulate properly. So now this is all divided up and we're good to go. So the problem is this is just set up and it's just gonna fall. So if I click on yes, it's just gonna fall. And what we could do is we could click and drag on a corner and then kind of pull it this way. That's definitely a valid way to do this. If you remember, this actually simulates this in real time. So you could click and drag this like this, but it's really kind of, uh, it's not very precise. Right, so it's really hard to get this to drape over the chair, anything like that. So what I wanna do is I wanna to toggle my drape and what I wanna do instead, and this is something that's only gonna work in the paid version, but what I wanna do is I wanna add a couple pins on the corners. So I'm gonna add a pin by clicking on this button and then clicking on this corner. And then I'll just move my mouse up and click again. I'm gonna set a pin on this corner and then I'm gonna set a pin in the middle. And so what the pins do is they pin this in place so that it hangs. Well, another thing you can do with the pins is you can select them while this is running. So I'm just gonna do a shift click to select all three pins. And notice when you select the pins, it gives you this gizmo in here. Well, what the gizmo is gonna allow you to do is that's gonna allow you to move your pins. So you can see how now what I can do is I can use those pins in order to drag this in real time. And I do recommend that you go real slow with this when you do this, um, only because otherwise sometimes your geometry kind of like goes through itself and it gets kind of ugly. Um, but you can use this in order to drape this back over your chair. So you can watch this and you can see when it starts running into your chair like this. And then you can adjust these down to kind of like hang this over the chair like this. And one thing to note that you need to make sure that you do when you're draping this object is you wanna click on the UI right here and in your simulation under cloth, you wanna make sure self collide is checked. So if self collide isn't checked, then the cloth doesn't necessarily collide with itself and you can get some kind of like weird overlap with this. But in this situation, so we wanna make sure that we set self collide to on. So now I can drag this down and we can go ahead and click stop. And now we have this cloth dragged over this face. And so we may wanna make sure that we toggle our drape, go in here and apply whatever material we want. So let's say we wanted this diamond material right here. And then we'll click out of here and we'll click on drape again. And you can see how this maintained the UV mapping of our object. So you can see how we can use this in order to drape cloths over a lot of different things inside of uh, SketchUp. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. What kind of tutorials would you like to see using Clothworks? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.